everyone, my name is Laura and this is my channel Laura's Little Library and welcome to today's vlog which is my haunted house vlog. So this week it is themed around haunted house stories or just any haunted situation. It doesn't have to be a house, it could be an apartment, it could be land, you know take it how you will but something some habitation has to be haunted or ghostly affected or something along those lines i have two books lined up for this week the first one is the haunting of hill house by shirley jackson i've been wanting to read this and i got a copy over audio from the library so i was like oh great perfect timing then the other book is one that i bought for this event that i really wanted to read and that is white smoke by tiffany d jackson so i've heard lots of good things about it plus this cover is absolutely gorgeous so i'm really excited to pick this one up physically this week it'll be nice i'm taking a little easier on myself this week um because two things one i cannot believe halloween is literally two weeks away like that is insane. I'm gonna have a lot to do because I will be planning some things for Halloween and I am hoping to do some more activities that are Halloween fall-esque. So I kind of want to just give myself some time to um, do that. Uh, and then the second reason is to avoid burnout. I, I don't feel like I'm getting burned out, but I don't want to push myself too far to then feel like I would be getting burnout at some point. So my goal is, today is Monday, my goal is to read The Haunting of Hill House because I have that on audio and there are a couple of things I would like to do that I can listen to an audiobook for. Um, and then I just have the whole week to read this book. I'm just gonna, I'm allowing myself to take it a little easy, especially because the next week is the thriller week, it's the final week, and I have so many books that I want to read both for Thriller Week and just for Spooky Season in general. There are a couple other books that I'm like, I didn't get to them, but I still really want to read them now. So I'm also allowing for those books to have a chance to be read as well. Um, so like I said, today's Monday. Um, it's, as usual, my <laughs> one of my days off from work. So what I need to do today, I need to film one video. I would like to plan another video, do some laundry, kind of not really clean because we recently did a whole apartment clean down but like I can make things real messy real quick um, I need to change my wardrobe over from like summer clothes to winter clothes because it has snowed twice already and it's October like 16 17 it's October 17 and it's snowed twice already which is like okay slow down here but whatever so I need to get some of my sweaters out for that so I'm excited to just kind of reorganize my wardrobe a little bit but yeah otherwise it's pretty chill for today I don't have to do too much which hopefully means I can get to reading some books do a reading update here because I just finished filming a video. 
and I am kind of almost done with The Haunting of Hill House. I'm probably like three-fourths, two-thirds of the way through. Um, I've got a little over an hour left in the audiobook, and I say it's, it's pretty good. I think... The issue is that it's a bit of an older book and I've been reading so many other spooky things that it's not quite hitting satisfactory level in terms of spooky things. Like don't get me wrong, spooky things have happened, but I just felt there was such a long introduction even though we immediately started with the characters. I just, I think if the spookiness was a little more concentrated but the book was also a little longer, I would probably enjoy it more. But, or like, I don't know, maybe if the characters didn't seem so dismissive, because they're like, they know they're living in a place that could be haunted. They don't know. They're there to determine if it's actually a haunted house. And every time something super creepy, super haunted happens, they're like, oh, it was probably one of you, or it's fine. No one needs to panic about the writing and blood in the wall. It's fine. And just to have... Be so dismissive about the horrific things that you're there to experience and lose your mind over. It just takes away from the book for me, I think, personally. So I'm going to finish that, but I think that's kind of the vibes I'm getting at. I don't know. Yeah, so I'm going to finish that. I am going to do a couple other things and yeah, probably pick up White Smoke today, honestly. There just isn't too much I need to do, but I also want to like take it easy. I might watch something spooky. We'll see. We'll see. I just gotta remember not to have too many cups of that pumpkin spice hot cocoa because <laughs> that is one of my favorite things. Oh my goodness. I <laughs> am obsessed with it. It's So it's not like pumpkin-y. Pumpkin spice are just the spices you use when you make pumpkin pie. So it's like cinnamon, nutmeg, cloves, um, maybe a slight bit of allspice like they're they're just the fall spices <laughs> that you just put in a pumpkin pie that are now like that's what pumpkin spice lattes are and that's probably what this pumpkin spice hot chocolate but like oh, the the spiced hot chocolate with a little bit more nutmeg on top oh, I just love it so much anyway so that's my update for now short and sweet I will see you after I finish the haunting of Hill House and probably watch something spooky. Hey y'all, it is Tuesday and I do not have a reading update for you as I have not read anything, but I did do something really exciting tonight that I'm super proud of. I baked a cake. Well, I didn't bake this one, I just decorated it. I bake cakes all the time, but I finally decorated this one. And for the first time employing those techniques, I think it turned out really well. Of course, there are a few adjustments I would make, but I decorated my first cake. Yay! I'm excited. So, I just gotta write my little thing on the cake, and I'll probably do that tomorrow. Take a picture, post it everywhere, and then eat it. Anyway, yeah. So, like I said, no reading update, but I just wanted to let you know, that's what I did on Tuesday. I went to work, and then I went to a cake decorating class, and I decorated a cake. Hopefully I'll read tomorrow, but I also need to edit my video and finish this cake, so no promises. <laughs>
I am giving you this update because the School for Good and Evil is out. I did get invited to watch it a day early and then what did I do yesterday? I worked. Oh, and then I had to cake decorating class and then I came home and I was tired so I didn't watch it the day early. But it's out now and I'm so excited to watch it. Like, look at this! I'm so excited. It's on Netflix. I've read the whole series. If you haven't read the series, read it and then watch the movie. Hi. It's Sunday. Brandon's watching football. Let's go, Lions! Please win. Please. Please. So I have not done a good job of vlogging this week because I just haven't been reading. I have been doing other things and just wanting to kind of relax and catch up on other things. I did read the first chapter of White Smoke and I hope to do more reading of that today. But we just went to the farmer's market where we got like one little thing of <laughs> sauerkraut and then we went to an event called the Taste of Asia and they were doing a vaccine booster and flu shot uh, drive and they gave us a hundred dollars worth of food voucher at the event if you got your vaccine booster. So we got our second booster as well as our flu shot and that's where all this is. We spent a hundred dollars worth of gift cards on the food because it was only for the event so like what are we gonna do? Throw them away? No, we're gonna buy a hundred dollars worth of food. So we are gonna go to an apple orchard once we eat some food and hopefully that'll be fun and then I'll give you a final reading update. Alright, it is Monday and the end of this vlog so I really only read The Haunting of Hill House. I read the first chapter of White Smoke and I am intrigued. I want to read it. I just didn't read this week. I took a bit of a break as well as I was feeling lightly slumpy, not like a long serious slump, but like I just, there were so many other things to do and I was kind of tired so I decided to let myself have a break this week. Um, like I said, I do still want to read uh, White Smoke by Tiffany D. Jackson. I, it's just not the time for me yet. So I only got 25 points but that is okay. Um, next week is going to be the thriller week. It's the final week because it's leading up to Halloween. So be sure to subscribe to get the notification of when I post that vlog. I am posting other videos because I post on Sundays and Wednesdays. But I have been pretty busy lately, so I'm posting when I can. Otherwise, if you like this, give it a thumbs up. Comment down below what you've been reading. Yeah, hopefully I do more reading next week. But thank you for watching, and until I see you all in the next video, I wish you happy spooky reading.